Okay, YouTube. Here's a, uh, a quick update of what I've been doing in the last um, sort of few weeks. Well, this, the weather's getting a bit sunnier, so we're uh, in well into spring. It's uh, April the 30th today, so we're nearly into May. Um, I've upgraded all the cabling, as you can see from the uh, the cable that I had before, which was very small, very flimsy. Um, you can look in a moment. It's pretty nice out there. The, the sun's shining directly onto the panel, so we're getting about 7.3 amps at 15 volts which is giving me about 109 watts directly in from the panel that then splits across into both the GTI and the solar charge controller and that basically just splits into into that little converter there the GTI is working very very well I think uh, I know a few people have problems with these but I think as long as you keep them down into sort of half the rated power you, you, you shouldn't have any issues really with them um, other things I've added, oh, you probably noticed I've got a few more batteries now. Uh, these are old UPS, well, I say old, uh, UPS batteries um, out of a, a couple of units at work which we no longer use. So I've decided to add them in. So I'm looking at about 45, 50 amp hours now in total from these batteries. And, uh, and it's not cost me anything, which is, uh, which is always a bonus. Uh, oh, what else have I done? I've also added this UPS, so what I've found is the, the original one's still there, which is a little 150 watts, uh, and I'm still using that for powering the radio and bits and pieces while we're sat in the garden. But I'm finding if I need a bit more juice, it got a bit too hot, you know, didn't, didn't really work very well, um, and kept cutting out on me. So that's really only good for about 70, 80 watts. Uh, so I've got this one, which is a Technoware 560 watt, I believe. Um, now, I pulled the old batteries out of it because they were dead, but the unit itself was fine, so I've drilled a hole in the side, pulled out the positive and negative cables, and added them in. So basically now both uh, these are acting as inverters, um, both modified sine wave, unfortunately. Um, it'd be nice to get an upgrade to a, a pure sine wave, so, uh, but I've, I've had no issues with it, really. It works quite nicely for what I want, but I've added it in there, so... I can just press a power button on either one and we get juice straight out that four-way socket and then that can go back into the house or, you know, just charge the cable or, uh, you know, back into that, into the radio while we're sitting in the garden in the sunshine. So that, that's basically where we're at. I'm hoping very shortly, I keep looking at wind, uh, a little wind turbine, so I might be adding that on very shortly. Um, and I can just give you a quick look at what that's actually bringing to the house. So you can see on the charge controller, the light's blinking. Uh, it means the battery bank's full, the panel's coming in quite nicely, still on there, about 109 watts. And if we just quick, quickly nip through the garden and have a look into here, that converts over to about 196 uh, watts. So there we go. Um, everything else looks alright, apart from the messy garden. And as you can see, the panel's still up there performing very well. Okay. Uh, any questions or comments, as always, feel free to uh, to put them on YouTube, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you very much. See you soon.